Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Horse Ranch Hotel. A challenge in The Sims 4 where the rules will be in the description below as well as a playlist for all the videos in the series. So we're rejoining Juliana Goldblum and she's working on her nectar making aspiration. We do have this nice hotel that is worth over 100,000 simoleons as according to the rules it specifies that we need to do that first. And she did complete the horse championship aspiration. So she's done with the horses, sort of. We still have horses on the property for people to ride for their leisure. But we are not focusing on horses. Now we're focusing on nectar making. And she has level 5 nectar making skill already. And she's made 33 out of 50 bottles of nectar. We need to do a lot more selling, but we have all of our bottles of nectar over here just waiting for them to become finely aged because that's how you get the most from your nectar bottles. And we're waiting for that so that we can go sell it to the person who is the town crier or the person who buys the nectar bottles. And we're going to make some more nectar. We do have our little fertilizer stand out here where we sell manure and crop fertilizers. So I am allowing the guests to tend this table as long as they are in a very good mood. In other words, all of their needs are completely full or mostly full and they're not in an uncomfortable or sad mood. And the reason I allow this is that we need to make a million simoleons at this hotel and it will be very easy to do with nectar but the guests are allowed to help because they're supposed to be paying to be here. So I'm going to allow them to do one yard sale as long as they're in a good mood. And if they stop tending the table due to some bug, I'm not going to send them back. Also, if my guests make any paintings, I'm just selling them directly to a collector. They may become famous because of that. I do have a ranch hand and a butler, but it seems like none of the employees will ever take care of the chickens anymore. They used to, but for some reason it seems now that they're bugged. Oh, Justice has got into labor, so one of our mares is pregnant, and she will have a new baby soon. We do have creepy crawlies enabled, so this is kind of a little bit of a dangerous hotel, but hopefully it's not that bad. And we have a new foal, and it's a filly because it's a girl. We're going to, well, Ranger sounds like a boy to me. I can't call a girl Ranger. Midnight? Um, She's probably a white horse, or I don't know if she's white, but her mother is white. I don't want to chance it. Cricket, Falcon, Hot Rod, Clover. Okay, there's no good names, really. All right, we'll go with... Well, I, if I go with the color name, I don't, I wish you could see the horse before you named it, but no, I'll, we'll go with lightning, I guess. I went to see the horse, <laughs> otherwise I have to change the name. Yeah, I was right. She is a white horse. <laughs> it would have been bad to call her Midnight. Aw, how cute. We have a new horse. Okay, it's time to send everyone to bed. Okay, I know it's only 8.30 in the morning, but I want to go into town and stay outside of the grocery store in case the nectar maker shows up. Or the mysterious stranger. We'll just go over by the grocery store to wait for him. He's supposed to be spawning in this area somewhere. And where are you going? Okay, you went over there and you went back over here for some reason. Where are you going? You're supposed to go to the grocery store. All right. She went back to where she was. Why? What's the point in having horses if you can't use them to get around the world quickly? I mean, yeah, they're nice, but I want to actually use them for the benefits they provide. Quick travel without having to walk. Okay, dismount before you go somewhere else. Where did you go now? She's... Okay, 
She did that teleport thing that Sims sometimes do. All right, we'll look around in this area and take care of the horse in the meantime. Hopefully I can keep her around this area. Because if I can meet him once, I can get him to come back over by planning a stayover. And that way I won't have to leave the lot anymore. I'm not really supposed to leave the lot because I have to take care of everyone's needs. And it's too easy if you go somewhere else. But I need to do this at least once so I can just meet the guy. There he is. Well, at least I see the notification for him. Okay, now where exactly did he spawn? I don't see where he spawned. Oh, it's still three minutes to noon, so maybe the notification went off and he just hasn't spawned into the world yet. Okay, it's 12.01. Now, where is he? There, no, that's a horse trainer. That's not him. Well, I don't see him. Maybe I'll give it a little bit more run time. Otherwise, I just might have to use cheats to find him or something. Because I saw the notification. He should be here somewhere. Okay, supposedly he's here because it says Roberto Crinkletop in MC Command Center. So supposedly he is somewhere in this zone. I'm not going to bother finding him. This is just how you can do it if you're tired of waiting for him. I have I'm sorry if you can't install mods, but go to MC Command Center on your sim and then go to sim commands, teleport commands, teleport a sim to this sim and teleport world sim to this sim. And this will only show you the ones that are current. Oh, sorry, not that one. Not that one. Ignore that. So it's teleport a sim to this sim and teleport lot sim. Okay, don't use the world sim because that is absolutely cheating because basically that's anyone in the in the save game file that you can teleport but if you teleport the lot sim to this sim it just helps you find them he's here but he's hidden and i don't want to do the scrolling thing where i try and find him i should be able to find him if he made his announcement so we're going to just teleport him to me and then we're going to talk to him now I want to see if this actually makes my nectar goal go up for my dollar amount. Okay, it's really not that much of a benefit, 2,888. I thought that's about how much it was worth without selling it to him. Well, anyway, let's see if I have my goal go up. I have 1,000 something. So as long as it goes up to 3,000 or 4,000, I should be good. It did. Okay. So selling the nectar to this man will actually make your goal go up. It didn't used to. I think it was bugged. So I need to make sure that I have finely aged bottles and I sell it to him. And that should be the best price that I can get. It didn't seem like it was that much marked up. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the bottle wasn't worth that much. But it's definitely not as good as the selling table. So once I get the 100,000 simoleon goal met here, I will stop selling nectar to him and use the selling table. Now, if we make friends with him, we can actually get the nectar making recipe for longevity maybe you can just do it once it has the ask about longevity we'll try it okay so i usually only talk about such things with trusted friends what i will say is that ranching truly saved my life okay so we do have to be a friend with him okay he is a friend what about now can I talk about it with you now? Oh, earn my trust further. Okay. So basically, it's all about the nectar. And he will give you the recipe eventually, but I guess you have to be a good friend with him. We might have to get rid of Juliana's close knit lifestyle. She's actually 
getting annoyed because she's making too many friends. That is annoying. I don't like those particular lifestyles where they have to keep a certain number of friends. I think it's too restrictive. Okay, she needs to use the bathroom pretty soon, but hopefully we can get to be good friends first. Okay, now he's saying that he's going to leave, so let me try one more time. Hopefully he doesn't go. No, we're not saying goodbye to you yet. Ah, uh, he still won't tell me. It really takes a long time to become good friends, but we just became good friends. If you don't use any cheats, like the... Oh, ask about family nectar recipe. Okay, so it actually changes the social that you can use to ask about family nectar recipe to show that you are good enough friends. That's good. Okay, now he's going to share the secret. All right, now I know only need to come find him when I actually need to sell the nectar. Okay, we'll go home, Julian. Okay, wait, he just gave me the vitality nectar, but he did not give me the death flower. So I have to click on him again. I almost forgot about this and ask for the life nectar ingredients. Don't leave. Please don't leave. I still need to get one more thing from you. Okay, thankfully he's not going. If I get the death flower, I can plant it, which is what I want. Okay, that's what I need. Okay, there's a fox wandering around, so I need to be ready to plant the death flower as soon as I put it down. I do not want that fox to get my death flower. That would be bad. Well, look who we have here. Taku Akiyama. So basically every time we have a guest come to the front door, we're going to add them to our family and then we have to take care of them. Now I can add his entire family, but we'll see. Sometimes this makes it a little bit laggy, but we might do it. Okay, and we have Kato and Jenny, or Jenna, sorry. And then Miki, and they have two little toddlers, Antoine and Amia, or Amaya, probably Amaya. So since they have toddlers, they will be staying in one of the rooms. And this room is Angelo and Lay's. So maybe we'll give them the room next door and we'll just work our way around so I don't lose track of where everyone is. But we will be putting the teenagers upstairs. I wish you could assign beds to toddlers. That would make a lot of sense. I don't know why you can't, but that's just the way it is. I do not have the spooky lot trade on. At least I don't think so. Why do I keep seeing ghosts. Are there ghosts in my world of people who have died from the elements or something? Sometimes if you get random urns, you will have random ghosts showing up when the urns decide to have their ghosts come into the world. And I find that really annoying. I don't see any urns. There might be some out here, but who knows? No, we're not spooky. We're not cursed. Why do we have ghosts showing up? There's no reason. All right, well, I did put the maintenance troubles lot trade on, so we might get that occasionally. Cool algae. Okay, so this is an event I haven't seen yet. Yes, there is pool algae. Okay, so if we swim around, it's supposed to get rid of it. And that should be good if people need to have fun anyway. Okay, it is summer, so it's warm. It's a good thing this didn't happen during winter. Okay, it is Brianna's birthday, so... Great! Now we're going to have an infant. Okay, Dolly is going to be neat. I wonder how long you have to swim around for. It says swim to clean algae. It doesn't say laps. 
Oh, swim to clean algae. Okay. So you have to actually select that specific task, not just swim around playfully. All right. Well, my bad. Okay. Well, it seems like that took no time at all. It wasn't really going away, though, unless I selected specifically to swim to clean algae. All right. Well, that event was actually pretty uneventful. A lot of the events are bugged, so sometimes you can get them to work and sometimes you can't. Well, Wednesday is a rainy day. We're running out of food, so we need to make some more food for our guests. We are on a simple living lot, so it takes a little bit of time to prepare meals each day. And we have to cook up a lot because we have a lot of guests. Now, I did get the notification that it was Brianna's birthday. So I guess we'll age her up since it's the morning and I think her parents have a decent amount of energy and she's had one more meal. So hopefully she ages up with full hunger or actually not hungry at all. And happy birthday, Brianna. And Brianna's going to be sensitive. Yay for infants. Okay, good. She's not hungry. However, she is a little bit sleepy. You might want to put her down. I will have to interfere more often with the infants than I do with the other residents. Even the toddlers, I have to watch them because they get so sad because all of their needs are low and they can't figure out how to fix it. No, you're not going to play. I know you don't have fun, but let's go eat. First priority is eating. Second priority is sleeping. And then hygiene. And then you can have some attention and fun. All right, where is the toxic mold? Probably where the leak is. Well, we'll just do a mold be gone because there's so much stuff in here to keep up with. I mean, there's things to fix, there's puddles to mop, and I don't feel like looking for it. Well, look, it's Paka. I don't think we've had Paka here before, so I guess we're going to get another family. So Paka is by himself, but welcome Paka. We have another mermaid. Look how many bottles of nectar I have in here. I don't think I've had one bottle become finely aged. I have a ton of moderately aged ones now, but I don't know how long it's been, maybe a week or two. And the ones that started out not aged probably in the beginning juliana wasn't making anything that was aged they have still not become finely aged it's nice that when you click on one of these nectar racks though that you can collect all finely aged nectar bottles so you can see if any of them are finely aged without having to look at all 13 of them oh i see you two had some fun Okay, hopefully she didn't end up pregnant. Okay, we've made 50 excellent bottles of nectar now. So the only thing we need to do is make 100,000 simoleons selling nectar. And we're nowhere near it. I'm waiting for the finely aged bottles. Because it seems like all the other bottles that are not finely aged are maybe worth a couple hundred simoleons. And it would take way too long to get to 100,000 just by selling those. Well, Juliana is pretty angry. So you can actually talk to your horse if they have a high enough temperament skill. And calm yourself down. That's pretty cool. Since Dorian has reached temperament level 5 we made an age up treat. So I think it's time to make Dorian an adult horse so that we'll have three horses to ride. And happy birthday, Dorian. And Dorian is such a pretty horse. Come back here. Hey, where are you going? I need to socialize with you. 
Okay, now we have to make sure everyone is in their warm weather wear because it's a heat wave, it's hot, and I'm getting notifications that some of the Sims are burning to death. Hopefully they can cool themselves off before they actually die of a heat wave. Now I'm also allowing myself to use these banquet tables. So if I don't feel like cooking, I can spend 250 smoleons and get some pretty good food. Lightning is now temperament level four. So we have a fourth horse. And I think four is the most I can support on this farm. It's just too laggy. Happy birthday, Lightning. Oh, we finally have some finely aged nectar in here somewhere. Okay, so this apple nectar is finely aged. And that's it. Okay, so we have one bottle on Friday to sell to the mysterious stranger. This is going to take a long time, but I have a feeling that next week I should have a lot of nectar bottles becoming finely aged. So maybe next week we'll be able to make some progress on this 100,000 simoleons. I'm not sure if we'll be able to complete it, but we should be able to come close or at least make it halfway. Okay, it's finally Antoine's birthday. So we have one less toddler and he's going to be a child. Happy birthday, Antoine. Come on, blow out your candles. I know it's a little laggy. There we go. Okay, and Antoine is going to be a dog lover and we'll go ahead and make him a motor kid. There we go. Now you can sleep upstairs in the big kid's room, Antoine. Oh, we have more finely aged bottles of nectar. Good, because I actually want to try and meet the mysterious rancher again and sell them for a profit, or at least a bigger profit than you would normally get. Okay, this time I see the notification around 11.18 a.m. on Friday. And since he's currently my friend, I can see where he is all the way over here that is nowhere near the grocery store well i guess maybe he spawns at different points because that is just not where the grocery store is all right we have two bottles of nectar which isn't great but it's something it's 1890 for one and 1260 for the other so let's see what the markup is well, it is a little bit. It's 1575 now and 2363. Okay, now I'm sure that it's a little bit more. I will definitely wait to sell it to him because we still have a long ways to go. Yeah, 7,981 out of 100,000. Can I ask for more life nectar ingredients? No, he doesn't have any today. Oh, well, maybe he does. Oh, spinach. He gave me the spinach. Well, thanks a lot. I already have plenty of spinach. What if I immediately ask him again? Okay, it looks like spinach again. I don't know if there's a cooldown on it or if he only ever gives you one death flower. Yeah, why does Paka not like fitness? That's a really bad thing for a mermaid that has to swim. One benefit of having animals is that they give your toddlers attention if you talk to them. They also act as well as stuffed animals for them learning how to talk. So I've decided to build a little treehouse out here for the kids. And it seems like you can have as many sims helping as you want. And if there's not enough room around the treehouse for them to actually be hammering on it, they will just stand nearby and act like they're giving directions. And the kids sometimes will bring out blueprints and oh, sometimes the adults do too. So I think that makes it go faster. They've been building for a while now. And the treehouse is built. I wonder if we can add all of the attachments with any level handiness. It looks like it doesn't matter. Can you do two upgrades at once? Yeah, you can have two people doing two different upgrades. That's interesting. Oh, and you can join on the upgrades as well. 
Well, that's it for this week. Unfortunately, they just released that patch and my game is wanting to update. So I'm having to play this offline. So the last hour or so has been really rough. That's why this one is a little bit short and not as eventful as most episodes. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.